Okay, 12.7, torque and energy. Okay, so we know that torque causes objects to accelerate rotationally. That means to change its rotational <coughs> velocity. Okay, and, um, and what this does is it causes a change in the rotational kinetic energy, K ROT, K rotational. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to calculate the energy change. Um, due to a torque, um, so that's the goal of this of this little exercise here. And so uh, we let's start off with this equation here. Sum of the external torques is equal to I alpha. Okay, I being your rotational inertia and alpha being your rotational acceleration. Now we know that alpha is ddt your time rate of change of your rotational velocity. It is your d omega dt. Then we can use the chain rule to um, rewrite this term over here as d omega d uh, theta. So this is the change in your rotational vo velocity um, over change in rotational uh, position rotational coordinate times d uh, theta dt so this is just a chain rule this over here equals that so then this term on the right becomes omega and we have d omega d theta okay so we'll see where we're going with this so on the left we've got some of the external torques is equal to i d omega d theta times your rotational velocity okay so this is what we have there okay now if we take this guy first of all first of all um, actually this is what I wanted to say is this guy over here gets multiplied up up to the top over there okay and this is what we have we have some of the external torques times d theta kind of the angle through which um, uh, you move okay and so if we integrate both sides first of all let's consider integrating the left side okay if we integrate the left side we pass through this and we get this guy okay some of the external torques times delta theta that's the left side okay and if we integrate the right hand side, we get this. We get um, half i omega squared final minus half i omega squared initial. And we know that this is our kinetic energy, our rotational kinetic energy. So basically what we get out of this is that this term over here equals this term over here. And that's what we have there. So your, the change in your rotational kinetic energy is equal to the sum of the external torques times the angle through which you rotate. Okay? So uh, the change in the object's rotational kinetic energy is equal to the product of the sum of the torques on the object and the object's rotational displacement. And it's very similar to... Um, what we've seen before in chapter 9 where delta k center of mass the change in kinetic energy of the center of mass is equal to the external forces times the uh, the displacement of the center of mass so it's very similar it's analogous it's it's the rotational almost a rotational equivalent okay so this is the the, the main thing initially that we need to see okay so please absorb this this is relating the torque to the rotational kinetic energy. Okay. Then the second thing we need to see whoops, is that the kinetic energy of an object or system that has both translational and rotational motion is equal to the sum of its center of mass and rotational kinetic energies. Okay. So an object that is rotating and translating has two components of kinetic energy. The one is the kinetic energy of the center of mass. 
and the other is the rotational kinetic energy, half I omega squared, <coughs> and this is how it's written uh, in, a, in terms of the changes in, uh, in the kinetic energy of an object. Okay, so take note of this. Take note of this guy, okay, and take note of these two. Okay, see you in the next one.